بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرالی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل الدتم من لسان ہی جب کہو کولی Dear students, we will discuss today the laws of integration, formulas of integration, integration. Integration is also known as anti-derivatives. Anti derivatives by name it is clear that it is a reverse process of uh, derivatives that we anti derivative we have formula that derivative of x is equal to 1 the derivative of x is 1 it means the integration of 1 should be x this is sign of integration 1 dx the integration of 1 will be equal to x plus c what is c? c is called the constant of integration and I will tell <coughs> about c at the end of this lecture that y comes c always in the integration we have formula that derivative of x power m is equal to m x power m minus 1 but in integration if we have to integrate x power m then its integration will be equal to x power m plus 1 over m plus 1 where n is not equal to minus 1 that is x power n if we have to integrate x power n then it will be equal to x power n plus 1 over n plus 1 if we differentiate x a x plus b power n its derivative is n a x plus b e power n minus 1 but we multiply it with the derivative without power that is a if we have to integrate such ax plus b power n then its integration will be that is power for integration that we will add 1 in this power and will divide by this power but we will divide the derivative of ax plus b that is a plus constant of integration we have derivative of log x that is 1 over x it means integration of 1 over x will be log x integration of 1 over x is equal to log of x we usually use x mod if we write only log x it is also true plus constant of integration will be used in both the cases we have derivative of e raised power x is equal to e raised power x but the integration of e will e raised power x will also be e raised power x integration of e to power x will be equal to e raised power x plus c we have derivative of e raised power x e raised power x into log of a if we integrate a to the power x it becomes a to the power x over log of a plus constant of integration now we write 
some formulas of derivatives and then we'll write its integration as well. <coughs> we have derivative of sin x cos x. It means integration of cos x should be equal to sin x. Integration of cos x will be equal to sin x plus constant of integration. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. It means integration of minus sin x will be cos x. If you multiply both sides by minus sin, then it becomes as minus cos x and this sin x. It means derivative of minus cos x is sin x, but the integration of sin x will be minus cos x. Integration of sin x will be equal to minus cos x plus c. We have derivative of tan x that is secant square x. It means integration of secant square x will be equal to tan x plus constant of integration. We have derivative of quad x that is minus cosecant square x. If you multiply both sides with minus 1, it will be minus quad x and this cosecant square. It means integration of cosecant square x will be equal to minus quad x plus c. Secant x we have derivative of secant x that is secant x into tan x it means integration of secant x tan x will be equal to secant x plus c cosecant x <coughs> dear students uh, derivative of cosecant x is minus cosecant x cot x and after multiplying by minus sign we get this position and integration of cosecant x cot x dx is equal to minus cosecant x plus c <coughs> We have six uh, trigonometric functions sine, cos, tan, cot, secant, and cosecant. But we have discussed the only two in fun integration of trigonometric functions that is sine and cos. But we have six functions. We have to integrate all these functions just like we have derivative of sine, cos, tan, cot, secant, cosecant. We should have integration of these six functions, but still we have discussed only the integration of sine and cos. Now we we'll discuss about the integration of remaining trigonometric functions. Before we discuss the <coughs> integration of these four functions, I want to tell you that we have discussed before that integration of 1 over x is equal to log x plus c. It means we can make a formula here that if the derivative of denominator is numerator then we can write the log of denominator. Now we use this function now we can write it as f dash x over f of x denominator is f of x and numerator is f dash it means we have derivative of <coughs> denominator then we write it as log of denominator just like this we have cot x to integrate then we can write cot x cot x as cos x over sin x. Now you can see that denominator is sin x and its derivative 
that is numerator which is equal to cos x. Now we can write log of sin x plus c. We get integration of cot x is equal to log of sin x. Since we have to integrate tan x, it can be written as sin x over cos x. We have to make the derivative of denominator. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Now we can write it as Now we have derivative of cos x minus sine as it is and we have to write log of cos x plus c. This is the integration of tan x. We can also simplify it as if by using log of by using third law of logarithm we can write it as this log it is equal to 1 over cos x dx plus c we can write 1 over cos as secant x plus c. This is also the integration of tan x. The integration of tan x is minus log x plus c and it can be written as log of secant x plus c. Now we have left only two trigonometric ratios that is secant x and cosecant x. Now we integrate secant x. For the integration of secant x, we multiply and divide this function by secant x plus tan x and divide it by secant x plus tan x. If we multiply it, then it can be written as secant square x plus secant x tan x over secant x plus tan x dx. Now we can see that derivative of secant x is secant x tan x plus derivative of tan x is secant square x. Then we can write it as log of secant x plus tan x plus c. It is your assignment that we that we have to integrate cosecant x and it will be integrated by multiplying and dividing cosecant x minus cot x and its answer will be log of cosecant x minus cot x plus c. Now we discuss about the inverse function. We have formula that derivative of sine inverse of x derivative of sine inverse of x is equal to 1 over 1 minus x square under root then it should be noted that the integration of 1 over 1 minus x square will be sine inverse of x that is integration of 1 over 1 minus x square dx is equal to sine inverse of x plus c. Derivative of cos inverse of x minus 1 over 1 minus x square under root. Then integration of minus 1 over 1 minus x square dx will be equal to cos inverse of x plus c. Derivative of tan inverse of x is 1 over 1 plus x square. Then integration of 1 over 1 plus x square dx will be equal to tan inverse of x plus c. 
cosecant inverse of x <coughs> dear students the derivative of cosecant inverse of x is 1 over x into x square minus 1 and we have the sign of minus here then integration of minus 1 over x into x square minus 1 dx will be equal to cosecant inverse of x plus c derivative of secant inverse of x is 1 over x into x square minus 1 square root then integration of 1 over x into x square minus 1 dx will be equal to secant inverse of x plus c derivative of cot inverse of x minus 1 over 1 plus x square then integration of minus 1 over 1 plus x square dx is tan sorry cot inverse of x plus c we have discussed the all the integration of all inverse functions now we have some general formula if we have expression just like a square minus x square to integrate then for this integration we substitute x is equal to a sin theta we will let x is equal to a sin theta if we have to integrate x square minus a square then we will suppose x is equal to a secant theta and if we have to integrate just like x square plus a square then we will suppose x is equal to a tan theta we have another formula of this type if we have p as power x and here the coefficient of x is a multiplying by f of x plus derivative of f of x then we will write only 